Hello YouTube. I hope everybody is doing great. Today is a long overdue video about my CNC lathe. That is uh, the lathe is finished. I just have still to do the tool holder. But I wanted to show you another feature that I added. Uh, actually, this is one of them. It's a e-stop and a LED. LED is not connected yet. The e-stop is. So if anything goes wrong, you can hit it and it will stop. But the main addition is actually this belt here connected to this stepper that also runs the spindle and makes it a fourth axis or a rotary axis and um, how it works is it has of course uh, here's my spindle sensor that I use to uh, measure the spindle speed but it also is used to index the head and I do that now with Mach 3 that I'm using so it does index to the same position every and each time so what I will use this for if I put a cutter here, a rotary cutter, like a Dremel, I can then machine cylindrical um, parts and or index them and to drill holes in them or whatever. And I can index this to whatever I want. I can move it to a position that I want, back and forth, obviously. And I can change the jog rate to make it faster or slower now I'm doing it by hand this will be done in the G code obviously so you can use it to whatever you like while using the other axis of course right now I'm controlling it here via my keypad and my pendant but it will of course once the g-code is written being done automatically so this is the indexing head feature on my cnc lathe and now we come to our sponsor as you might know this backplate was uh, fabricated and sent to me by pcbway.com and now their intro this video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. They offer first class PCB, stencil and assembly services. They also have 3D printing and CNC services with a vast array of options. Select the material, upload your file and get an instant quote without any delay. Your orders will be executed in a timely fashion and you can choose your shipping option that suits your schedule. PCBWay is your one stop solution that you can trust. So, in case you're wondering how it is connected, because I have obviously a spindle here for if it's a CNC lathe and the indexing head here. And what I do is I have here my connections, and actually, I'll have here. This is my plate here for the outputs and inputs of the controller and I'm running this small little red board and here I have, let me actually turn this thing off, cut down on the noise. So here I have the inputs. And this is actually my, oh, now it's quiet, unless you can hear the washer in the kitchen. 
um, this is my wire for the spindle and this is the wire for the indexing head for the stepper motor of the indexing head what I do is if I run this on CNC as a CNC lathe I connect this and do disconnect that because once the stepper is driven externally it uh, obviously produces electricity and I don't want that particularly going back into the driver so I unplug this and plug in the spindle so what I'm actually also gonna do on my next video I'm sorry but uh, I have to set up this uh, my tool holder my mm, temporary tool holder and I'm gonna show you how I do cut this steel I'm not sure what kind of steel it is but it is not aluminum it is steel it was given to me by a friend and actually it was like this I cut it down to this and I will show you how it will cut steel because I had people asking me how this aluminum built lathe can cut steel and it can cut steel believe me so I will show that in the next video I will probably since this video will be rather short <coughs> excuse me add it to the end of this video so if you want to see that please stay tuned or uh, it might be in one video anyway so this is it for today thanks for watching